Okay, so in today's math lesson, we're talking about uh, greatest common factors and least factors and least common multiples. So, uh, factors are numbers we're going to multiply to get a value. So, in this case here, we have uh, we're looking for a common factor, the greatest of the common factors between 30 and 15. So, I'm gonna try to be nice and neat about this. I'm gonna set up two charts, one representing each of my values here. So much for being neat. Hopefully I don't need all these guys, but just in case. I like to do this in a chart. I'm looking for factors of 30 and factors of 50. So numbers I multiply to get. So 1 times 30, 2 times 15, right? 3 times 10, all giving me 30, okay? 3 times 10, 4 is not a, a factor, but 5 is. Okay, 5 times 6, and that should be them. Now for 50, I have 1 times 50. 1 is always a factor of a number. 2 times 25, 3 doesn't work, 4 doesn't work, 5 does work, 5 times 10, and that's them. So all of my common factors include 5, 10, these are all the ones I have in common, 2, of course, 1, here they are. Now the greatest of those factors is 10, so my GCF equals 10. The greatest of the factors, or the common factors, is 10. So that's how that works. Now to see this in action a little bit, we'll take a word problem over here. Talk about this ski club. You know, the ski club, they want some kits here. They want to make some uh, starter kits for new skiers. So they're talking about hand warmers, uh, hand warmer packets, and foot warmer packets. So uh, let's see. We're going to try to organize our life here. So hand warmers. Let's start with those guys. Nice and big here. Let's see. One, two. I don't know how many I'm going to need, but I'm just going to put a lot in here. I have a feeling it's going to be heavy. Okay, so hand warmers, we'll do HW for hand warmers. They have 60 of these things. 60. So if I have one kit, I'm going to need 60 hand warmers. If I split into two kits, that's 30, right? Again, I'm doing factors. I can make three kits. If I do, they're going to be 20 hand warmers in each. I can do four kits. I think I could do four. Yeah, four kits, 15 a piece. I can do five kits also at 12 a piece. I have a lot of... A lot of options here. I can do 6 and 10, okay? And then it flips over. I can do 10 kits with 6. I can do 12 kits with 5. I can do 15 kits with 4. I can do 20 kits with 3. I can do 30 kits with 2 apiece. And, or I can do 60 kits and just put 1 in each. So I can do that also, okay? So that's for the hand warmer. Now for the foot warmer, now I want to match here. That's the whole the whole I want identical kits. I want all the kits to be the to have the same number of items. Okay. All the kits have to be identical. So let's see. So the uh, foot warmer. So I can do what do I have here? 48 total. So if I have one, that means I have 48 one kit. So I, that matches. I can do one kit. One kid gets it and one kid's going to one kid gets 60 hand warmers and 48 foot warmers and we call that a day, but I'm pretty sure they want to maximize things here. So we can do two with 24. I can make two kits. That'll work. Okay, so two kids. Each will get 30 war uh, hand warmers and 24 foot warmers, but again, I don't think they want to do that. Uh, they can do three kids, so they can give it to three kids. That'll match up. They can do four. So, so far we're, we're doing pretty well here. Four with 12, so they can make four kits and hand them out the four kits. Four kids, uh, five isn't going to work, so they can't make five kits out of the foot warmer, but six they can. They can make six kits. And uh, for six, you'll have eight in each, and that's a match also, so they can make a maximum of six kits. Eight kits they can make, but that's not going to work out because I can't do uh, or make eight kits out of the hand warmers. It's not going to work evenly, so forget that one. But I'll write it down anyway. So I can do 12 and 4. I can do 16 and 3. I'm just going to write them all out. 24 and 2 and 48 with 1. So the largest one I match up with is actually 12. So it looks like that's my final answer. So I can make 12 kits. And in each of those 12 kits, you're going to have 5 hand warmers. And you'll have 4 foot warmers. And that's using GCF to help you find an answer, which is kind of neat. Okay? It's pretty cool. So the other thing we were doing here, let's see, 
and we started talking about multiples. And multiples are basically a whole lot of multiplying. So in other words, I'm going to take a number, I'm just going to multiply it by the next value and kind of climb the ladder a little bit. So 9 times 1 gives me 9, 9 times 2 gives me 18, right? Then I get 20, uh, 27, right? 36, 45, 54, right? 63, and so on. And 12, I get 24, 36, 48. And what I'm looking for here is the smallest of them because there is no greatest common multiple because the multiples go on forever. So I'm always looking for the smallest of them. So that's how we're finding multiples, okay? Now, to see that in action, let me clear the slate here. Let's cruise down. We'll start it uh, with letter B over here, starting at 6 a.m., a bus stop. So you're at the bus stop, and it's 6 a.m., you're at the corner, and the bus, bus shows up every 15 minutes. So if it's 6 a.m. and the bus shows up every 15 minutes, if you miss that bus, 15 minutes later, the bus will show. And if you miss that one, 15 minutes later, again, another 15 minutes later, the bus will show up again. But also at 6 o'clock, the, the taxi is going to show up at that corner. But the taxi will show up every 12 minutes. Okay? So 12 minutes and then another 12 minutes and then another 12 minutes. So they don't always, the bus and the taxi don't show up at the same time all the time. Question is, uh, after 6 o'clock, when is the next time they will show up again? So 6 o'clock is the starting time, the bus. Right, and the bus shows up every 15 minutes, and the taxi, that shows up every 12 minutes, okay? So let's see. So in 15 minutes, there it is. So 30 minutes, it'll show up again, right? Another 15 minutes. 15 minutes later will be 45 minutes later. Another 15 minutes is 60, and so on. Well, 12, after 12 minutes, another 12 minutes, it'll show up again, so that's 24. 12 minutes later, again, it's 36. Another 12 minutes is 48. And then another 12 minutes is 60. So it looks like my match here, my earliest match will be 60 minutes later. And 60 minutes later is one hour. And if it's 6 a.m. at the start, right, I'm going to add that one hour. And if we add that one hour, that means it's going to be 7 a.m. when the two show up at the same time. Okay, so it looks like every hour, maybe 8 a.m. it'll show up again, 9 a.m. and so on. Okay? Well, that's the deal, folks. GCF, LCM. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.